Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve Code Chef problem visiting toy store. Before we start looking into this problem details, uh, I want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people who are preparing for their Java J2 interviews and for their coding interviews. You will find vast varieties of problem uh, which are solved and explained using whiteboarding sessions and Java code and examples on my channel and uh, it covers very important coding questions varieties such as matrix problems using BFS, DFS, uh, graph problems, uh, binary search tree related uh, different coding questions, dynamic programming problems as well as coding questions related to linked list strings, optimization problems that can be solved using priority queues and lots of logical uh, questions. And these questions are uh, taken from previously asked coding questions by big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Yahoo and many other big tech companies. So if you are preparing for any coding interviews or Java interviews, this channel can be definitely help you in your interview preparation. So please subscribe to the channel now. So let's look into the visiting toy store problem. So Chefina is not too happy with the way Chef has treated her in the past. To impress her, Chef takes her to a toy store in Chefland. The toy store consists of 10 toys, each with a price AI. The toy store of Chefland is unique in its own ways. The amount of each toy in the store can be positive, negative or zero. The total amount of purchase is calculated by multiplying amounts of items picked. Find maximum amount of purchase chefs can make from toy store by picking up at least one toy to impress Chefina. So, <clears throat> uh, let's say the input is basically they have given us the um, first line contains N which is number of toys and the second line contains the AI to AN which is the price of each toy, right? Uh, so we have to calculate the maximum amount of purchase chef can make from the toy store, right? So and the uh, what they have said in the problem statement is the purchase is calculated by multiplying amounts of the items picked, right? So amount is multiplied basically. Um, so for example, let's take a look into the given example here. So they have given us a sample input. So four is means four are number of items. So let's take this example on whiteboard. So this one is already given as the input. So four is given as the input and then we have been given a array of prices, right? So array of prices which contains four minus one two zero, right? So uh, here you can see four then minus one. Uh, then 3 right uh, 4 minus 1 2 0 sorry 2 0 so this one is 2 and this is 0 so these are the prices uh, so the maximum uh, basically they are saying that whatever item you choose then they will get multiplied basically basically right so that's how the calculation of the price will happen right so for example and we have to maximize that factor right so if we take let's say 4 here and if we take 2 right 4 and 2 so this is the maximum factor we can get right this 4 into 2 we can get here which is equal to 8 right 8 so this is the maximum we can get from this array so let's look into the output so as you can see 8 is the maximum right so uh, because if we consider anything like 0 if we consider then it will get, get multiplied by 0 so it will become 0 so we cannot consider 0 right we cannot consider minus 1 because the amount will get multiplied by minus 1 right then it will become minus 8 so it will not be maximum so we have to we cannot consider that basically right so uh, the quick note uh, you might have already noticed here is how we can solve this problem easily is first thing is we have to uh, uh, sort this array right so after sorting the array will look like this minus 1 0 2 and 4 right 2 and 4 so <clears throat> uh, so immediately we will notice that we have to take this all positive numbers right 2 into 4 so it will give us the answer right 8 but here there is one catch or there is one important uh, factor that we might miss right and what is the important factor if there are multiple multiple minus numbers here 
right then we have to consider the minus numbers also right for example let's just modify this array little bit so let's say our array is let's say um, array has minus 2 let's say then minus 1 then 0 then 2 then 4 right and let's just consider that there is minus 4 also here let's say minus 4 is there right so let's just assume that this is our sorted array right so in this case this is uh, for sure that we will pick 2 and 4 right because it will give us 8 the factor 8 will come from 2 and 8 2 and 4 so uh, after that what we have to do is when we are iterating after sorting when we are iterating in this direction right from uh, smallest number to the largest number we will check if we can make a pair of negative numbers correct if we can make a pair so pair means which numbers we will make these number pairs we will make right minus 4 and minus 2 and if we multiply we will get 8 here right so this one is multiplied by 8 right because this is 8 and if it is a single minus number we will just skip that single minus number right because it cannot be part of this pair the, this pair will give us the maximum product so, right so we have to choose this negative pairs which are giving us maximum product if we choose minus 1 and minus uh, 2 and minus 1 it will give us 2 so that's not maximum if we choose minus 4 and minus 1 it will give us 4 that's not maximum so we have to choose minus 4 and minus 2 so uh, in if we do that then our answer will come as 64 right so this is one important observation uh, many people miss during interviews in this kind of uh, questions right so this is important to note that uh, we should try like uh, with different varieties of unit test cases right with for example with multiple uh, negative numbers right in that case uh, we will automatically uh, realize that you know we have to keep into this factor right so uh, let's take another big example um, let's take another big example so i already created this example here these are eight numbers right so let's just take these eight numbers so i'll just uh, paste these numbers for us so this is our eight numbers uh, let me just make this big quickly so first thing is it has some couple of negative numbers and uh, some positive numbers right so we have to first we will take this array and we will sort this array right this is uh, now we are developing our solution also right at the same time algorithm so uh, after sorting how the array will look like so minus 8 minus 6 minus 4 right so minus 8 then minus 6 right minus 4 then minus 3 right minus 1 then 0 uh, then 2 and 4 right 2 and 4 yeah so 2 and 4 so let's just make sure that these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so so this is our sorted array right so after we done sorting we will start with this number right and we will go in this direction correct and let's say p is our product right so let's say p is our product so we whenever we are seeing negative number we wanted to check if the next number is also negative right yes so next number is negative so we will multiply these numbers so 8 into 6 we will multiply this is 48 right so 48 after that now we will skip this number right because we already formed this pair basically so now we will go to this number after this again we will check if next number is negative yes next number is negative so we will get this pair so minus 4 into minus 3 is 12 so it means that this is 48 into 12 right 48 into 12 so after this we will skip this minus 3 number because it already formed this pair right minus 4 and minus 3 we already used it so we cannot use it again so now minus 1 is there so we go minus 1 now next number it's not minus right so we will just skip this we cannot make a pair of this again we are at 0 this one this number is not greater than 0 so we'll skip this so we are at 2 again we will try to find out this next number both are positive so both can make a pair so it is 2 into 4 which is equal to 8 right so it is equal to 8 so this way we will get our answer right so if you calculate this uh, then let's say I'm just using a calculator here so 4608 will be the answer basically 4608 will come if you multiply this right 
so we will take this as our unit test case and we will take the other example as well so let's just go ahead and look into the solution the java solution for this problem so n is equal to 8 and this is the same array that we just discussed so first thing we are going to do is sorting the array right arrays dot sort we will use java's arrays dot sort method then we created one variable called as total and now we are going to go after sorting we are going uh, in this direction right one by one uh, so we are actually uh, checking if the array of i if it is less than zero right means it's a negative number and the next number is also negative so both are negative then we are going to do total is equal to total into array of i into array of i plus one right so we will multiply both negative numbers uh, by the total correct and we will have to increment i by one right because now as as i explained you here once we make this a pair right once we make this a pair we cannot use this minus six right because we already used it so we have to skip this to skip this we have to in, in uh, increment i here right by one if we are uh, uh, finding an array of i is a positive number it's a greater than zero then we will just multiply total by the array of i number right so we'll keep doing uh, in the for loop and at the end we will get total as our answer right so let's just go ahead and execute this code snippet so we are getting 4608 and here also we have 4608 which is our correct answer right so now we will uh, do this another example that they have given us 4 and 4 minus 1 2 0 so this is 4 4 minus 1 2 0 so this first part right so this one is the first example now that we saw so it should give us it right it should give us it so let's take uh, let's execute this so now we are getting it which is the correct answer so this is the logic and this is the way we uh, can solve visiting toy store problem on code chef so the very important observation here is we should not miss the negative numbers right because the product is not only for positive numbers but it's also can have negative prices as they have mentioned in the example right so um, they already told us that uh, prices can be negative positive or zero right here they are saying right positive negative or zero right so this is the way we can solve code shape problems uh, these are uh, good problems for initial screening rounds or uh, you know initial um, online testing rounds uh, so i just thought of creating video for this problem uh, if you are new to my channel on my channel you will find uh, different playlists for to help your coding uh, practices and coding interviews so those playlist name is code chef as well as code forces so these are two different playlists it has a lot of varieties of problems solved and explained using whiteboarding sessions and uh, java code and examples so you can go through those playlists also there is another big playlist on my channel called as lead code and lind code solutions so it has over 250 solved different varieties of problems taken from lead code and lind code and those are previously asked coding interview questions by google facebook microsoft yahoo amazon apple and many other big tech companies so you can check out that playlist it has vast varieties of all sorts of questions that you can expect all sorts of varieties that you can expect in the interviews such as uh, you know breadth first search depth first search matrix problems graph problems binary search tree related coding questions binary search related different coding problems as well as linked list problems uh, string related coding questions optimization problems uh, using priority queues uh dynamic programming uh, related uh, interview coding questions so all these different vast varieties is covered there uh if you like this video if you find this video helpful and if you like the way it's been created using whiteboarding session examples and java code then please give it a like also subscribe to the channel your subscription to the channel is really important for the channel because that is the way the videos can reach to more people who need help in solving coding problems the important uh, goal of the channel is to help as many people as possible in their uh, interview preparation and in their coding interview preparation. Uh, whoever f finds it hard for the coding interviews, they can watch these solved coding problems videos and learn from these videos 
how to approach uh, different varieties of coding problems and what different data structures and java apis can be used to solve different coding problems so uh, if you uh, like this video then please give it a like also if you have any questions um, or comments you can put your comments below the description section uh, you can share please share this video with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching this video